Hello there adventurers and welcome to Wally DM. Today we're going to take a look at a puzzle that um, was inspired by Traps and Treachery Part 2. In our last puzzle video we uh, did Dial and Entrance and that got my gears turning to uh, do something kind of similar to that um, but kind of make the puzzle my own. So um, I hope you like it. Let's take a look at it. This one's going to be called The Combination Cubes. Okay, so for this puzzle I have in mind, I want to put it on a treasure chest, but of course you could use this uh, for a door or anything else that might be locked and could um, be opened by rotating a, a couple cubes. Think of like a briefcase, you know how you dial the numbers on a briefcase and then uh, hit the two buttons on the side and it pops open? It's kind of what I'm imagining with this puzzle. So uh, we're going to proceed with it on the treasure chest because that's the way that I'm probably going to use it. So the players are looking at this treasure chest and it's got a lot of artwork on it. And they may have found a key already or maybe I have the key sticking in there. So this is a treasure chest and uh, they come across it and there's a key in the lock. And it looks like it just needs to be turned but to, but to the left of the key or to the right of the key or what have you, there is a three cube combination puzzle and I'll show you what I have in mind. Okay so this is what I'm thinking. Um, there's a definite line going straight across and these are three cubes and think about the cubes as being able to just twist them. So there's going to be four different sides of the cubes because they're mounted because they're mounted on this uh, wire thing so you're not going to get this side or this side of the cube but you can rotate these cubes and get four different sides. So each side on this is going to have two letters on it. So there'll be two different letters on this one uh, for each four, two different for each four here, and two for each four here. And again, here is our uh, the keyhole of the treasure chest. And maybe the key is stuck in there and it's not going to come out. Um, or maybe it does come out. But uh, regardless, I would probably have the key already in the keyhole. And all the players need to do is rotate these cubes to the letters that they think will solve the puzzle and then turn the key in the keyhole. Now if they get the wrong answer or put the wrong combination in, I think I'm going to go with, uh, you know, maybe a an arc of lightning or a, a arc of electricity is going to either shock the one that's trying to open it or maybe it'll uh, arc and chain, chain lightning through the party or something like that. Or maybe it's going to release a fog or a gas. Up to you as the DM as far as um, as uh, what you would like uh, to have bad happen if they get the wrong combination. So let's take a look a little bit closer at what all of these uh, letters are. Okay so here is uh, the contents of our blocks. Again we have three cubes and you can rotate the first cube and get uh, one of these four pairings. You can get B, L, F, E, S, P, or B, I. And then the second cube can be rotated to line up with the first one with these this group of letters and the third cube with this group of letters. Now there's actually a possibility of quite a few different words being built from these but what I'm going to do in uh, my gaming session is the uh, the treasure chest is going to actually be decor is going to be decorated with the clues. So on this one let's start with the first one let's say that this is decorated with uh, religious symbols okay so we have religious symbols so looking at the letters we have available here would you be able to rotate and create a word and then turn the key based on the clue religious symbols for fun let's also take a look uh, maybe the uh, maybe there's another treasure chest somewhere else in the in the same dungeon that uh, you can use the same puzzle on, and uh, there's one that's just filled with cats. So there's uh, pictures of cats all over this one, and there's another one that has all kinds of swords and knives, and then uh, the last one, a little bit tricky, but maybe a, a type of a shovel. 
So those will be the four different themes for the puzzles or for the uh, for the treasure chest. So we've got four different words that can be built here. Um, again, I will probably present them one at a time. So we'll have a treasure chest here uh, with decorated in one of these four. So maybe it's got uh, religious symbols on it. Maybe it has a bunch of cats and um, mountain lions and, you know, uh, house cats, stuff like that on it. Uh, maybe it's uh, got swords, short swords, knives, daggers. And then uh, this last one, um, a bunch of uh, uh, flat tipped shovels. So there's our clues. And if you'd like to work through those, you can uh, go ahead and pause the video now if you'd like to figure them out. Did you get it? Cool. Let's take a look at the solution. So what I've done here is I've just put the letters on. This is a uh, just a regular storage counter box. Um, this is a 200 count box that you can get at your local game store. Um, but what I did was I just made this so that my players can turn them. So as you can see there, they can turn the letters. And uh, I thought that would just add just a little bit more fun to the puzzle. So let's take a look at the first one. So you would need to describe the treasure chest as having religious symbols and, and things of that nature. And I'll let you come up with the fine details. But the correct answer for that is bishop. So if they spell out bishop and then turn the key, then they're going to open the treasure chest. Our second one was uh, house cats or mountain lions or things of that nature. The answer for that is feline. Our third one was swords and knives and blades. So the answer to that is blades. And our final one is uh, some flat headed shovels. You could also use maybe a picture of a king, a queen, and a jack to spell the word spades. So once again, once the party members put the correct letters in there, turn the key, they'll be able to open the treasure chest safely with no traps triggering and uh, gather all that great loot and magic items that are hidden inside. So that was my puzzle, the combination cubes. And as you can see, it's uh, uh, very, very different from uh, what we've seen in Traps and Treachery in the last puzzle. Um, again, I just wanted to make it my own. So um, you can take the combination cubes, and even though I put them on a treasure chest because I thought that would be kind of cool, you know, uh, uh, think of like a uh, uh, like a uh, locked briefcase or something where you got to you know dial the numbers in to unlock it and you you know click the buttons and it flips open and stuff. That was kind of my idea of uh, thinking of this as far as a treasure chest goes. But you would be um, uh, you could put this on on a door or whatever uh, whatever you think needs locked by a mechanism or a combination lock such as this. So um, that was my puzzle for you. Um, what did you think about it? What would you do differently? And if your players are struggling, what different types of clues would you give to uh, help them uh, solve the puzzle? Once again, I want to thank everybody for watching. Make sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And on to the next.